Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, May 22nd. Fire investigators are trying to pinpoint what started a fire at a historic Bucks County Inn. The fire broke out around midnight at the Richland Town Inn at South Main and East Union Streets. Everyone got out safely and the fire was under control in about an hour. We're told two firefighters suffered minor injuries. The Red Cross is helping 16 displaced residents. A manhunt is on for this man and one more after a police-involved shooting in Delaware County. Investigators say this suspect is wanted for a murder in the city of Chester Monday afternoon. Later, Fallcroft police say they spotted him at another man near Taylor Drive. Police say Officer Christopher Dorman fired two shots after one of the men pointed a gun at police. Officer Dorman was shot on the job two years ago. And there's a new land battle over an old school in Delaware County. Some neighbors in Marple Township are unhappy over plans for the former Don Quinella School on Sproul Road. The Archdiocese of Philadelphia owns the land, and early next year it plans to close a deal with Sproul Road Partners. The developers say they are preserving some open space. Others say it's not enough. Okay, let's check in now with meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, you're tracking some rain today. I am, and you know, there could be some thunderstorms that uh, come along embedded within the rounds that are going to come through here. So it's a scattered round of showers and storms that we'll end up with here today. That means that there will be breaks along the way. However, again, there could be some storms that turn a little locally gusty, and we are in the lowest level of severe weather threat, and only really for the southwest corner of our region here. So parts of Chester County included, good portion of Delaware, southwest most, Salem Cl County, even clipped by this, but uh, Philly isn't included. As we take you forward, though, in future weather, I mean, look at the kind of heavy rain that could be rolling through our area come 11 this morning or so, and then there will be a break, but another round that comes in time for evening rush. So both lunchtime as well as typical PM rush getting impacted likely here with these rounds of rain, and then we do start to clear out into tomorrow. So the seven day forecast is actually looking pretty good here for the next three days. Low mid 80s, sunny skies, warm over the span of the holiday weekend, but Right now, Saturday looks the driest, with it turning gradually more unsettled over the span of the holiday weekend itself. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's all it is for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.